I've always wanted to join the military since I was little, you know, growing up with my father's like leftover gear and watching war movies and whatnot. I grew up in a household where I guess it was Japanese slash Hispanic since I'm mixed type of household where you know men had to be strong so no emotion was shown. I never heard my father say I love you until I went off to Iraq. It's the first time I heard I love you. I was like, oh, am I gonna die? It's like, so it was a bit of a shocker and a tearjerker. I was like, okay, you know, this is real. It's going down now. So um, my mom, she's always been, you know, emotional. So it was different from my father. I mean, it's probably one of the best decisions I made was becoming a 25 Bravo because uh, IT is the future. So it gives me opportunities and a wider skill set. I'm able to help out as much as I can and being an NCO, you know, training my soldiers to be able to do the same thing or pretty much try and change the culture from what my uncles went through, my father went through, and, you know, it, we've come a long way. You know, when World War II happened, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, uh, that's when the United States decided for their safety to gather up all Japanese Americans and relocate them for their safety wise. My grandfather, I think he lost his farm and some house he owned at that time because um, they had to relocate within like two days or a day. So they had to pack with the can, sell with the can, and then up and leave. My family from Los Angeles went to Wyoming, Heart Mountain, where I had an auntie there that, I guess she was a baby who ate um, laundry soap at the time, and she died in the relocation camp. And my dad served in Vietnam in 1969. He did, uh, he was drafted at the time, so he did about four or five years in the Army. My uncle, which is my father's brother, who's Japanese, served with the 442nd Infantry Battalion um, during World War II, which was all Japanese infantry. Uh, served in Italy and fought against the Germans uh, to show his loyalty to the United States after all of our family was uh, relocated. My other uncle served in the Korean War with the 9th Infantry. He was, I think, a PFC at the time, and there was still a kind of a segregation or hatred towards Asians at the time. So he was told by his lieutenant to, these are your people, the uh, South Koreans, so you train them. And kind of left them as a, as a PFC in the infantry. And he was Japanese? He was Japanese. Be respectful of other people's cultures. You can't just judge someone just based off how they look. Know your heritage, know where you came from, be proud. Pretty much trying to change the culture from what my uncles went through, my father went through, and you know, it, we've come a long way. We're all one and we're all on the same planet. We all need to learn to help each other, live with each other, and you know, protect what we have before it's gone.